Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and asked how you could put an outline around it. And I don't know exactly what kind of outline he means, but you can definitely put an outline around it. But when somebody sends me a file, I'm going to move it. One, I just move it to see if it's grouped together. And when you move stuff, you can see stuff uh, that you can't really see when you're not moving it. So it's got all this garbage in it. We're gonna take a rectangle, fill it in with yellow, go to object, order, back a page, and you can see it's total. The whole letters are there and they're broken up. So we're just gonna select all that and hit delete. And you can kind of prove that by hitting F4. There's something else on your page. And there it is right there. That could cause you a problem. Now I'm gonna hit F4 and I just get my logo. So this is very easy to put an outline around it. You just have your object collect, selected and right click your mouse and you've got an outline that's a hairline. I don't know if that's what he wants, so we're gonna do a couple of them. This thing is like four inches, so we're gonna set our nudge factor on five. Whoop. And also do yourself a favor and my numbers are locked. Do yourself a favor and set your nudge on zero, zero. You be ahead of the game. So let's make a duplicate of this, Control D and make a duplicate. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna left click. I'm gonna say right click in case you wanna cut this out. So we've got a hairline. So, and if you wanna engrave this, I would suggest you putting it in a black. Now let's say he wants the hairline around the object and not right on the object. So we can go to effects and contour and we're gonna contour the outside Let's say, say 0.1, and then go to object, break contour apart, grab the inside one and move it up. So now this is the thicker one, we'll move it down. So now you have a little bit of a contour around your letters. But in just a case that's not what he wants, let's do a little more and let's contact, uh, make our offset like, two, or make it bigger than that, make it four. That's too much. You know what, just make it one. And then you have, go to object, break contour apart, and grab that one and move it down. And now you have a contour around your item, an exact contour, and we were using square corners. There's another way to look at this you could use rounded corners, but for that particular logo, that might be the best, but we're gonna round corners. And now we get a totally different look. Go up to effect, break contour apart, grab the outer one and move it down. And it's a totally different look. It's every little facet. And you could do anything in between there. Once you have that contour, I always like to move stuff out of the way, but then we can go to the inside, half that distance, 0.5, go up to object, break contour apart, grab the inner one, and now you have a totally different look again. If they were cutting out a sticker or a piece of wood and they wanted it engraved. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you.